everyone. Jeff May here with Richard Epcar, yes. the amazing, incredibly talented voice actor. Uh, I would go through your IMDb. We only have a little bit of time. I don't have six hours <laughs> to go through the 459 over, over credits. 600. Or 659. I'm so, see that? There's 200 since I last lot. looked. Yeah, That's how busy it. you there, are. I'm doing stuff right now that I don't even know I'm doing. It's unbelievable. It's wild. It's I insane. mean, you know what? To be honest, it's the snowball thing. Once <laughs> one thing starts, it keeps going. It's a snowball The thing next thing you know, you're, you're playing uh, the Joker. You're playing Raiden. And you were like, I just wanted to be in a cereal commercial. That's right. Who knows right. how it works? Who the hell knows? Uh, um, Richard, you are, uh, obviously, you have done so many things. Uh, and I, it's so impressive and, and so incredible. Um, and there's a couple of things that I'm very selfish and I want to talk about. Uh, I'm going to hit my fandoms. And first up, you're Raiden. Yes. You're, 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 you is are. Is that guy annoying or is it just me? Can I say something right now? Yes. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. I'm doing great. <laughs> right. We These mics them. are doing great. They're oh. going to pick us up. And Not then them. occasionally just the the, sh the screaming in the background sometimes wow. gets picked up. Hey, they're voice acting too, right? Yes, that's right. Way. Um, <laughs> but that being said, uh, as like, what's it like to take over that? What, what, an, what an amazing and iconic role to take the over. The Joker you're talking about? Any of them. But uh. I was talking Raiden, but we can I was going to get to the Joker. Well, the Joker and Raiden I've been doing for 12 years now. That started with Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Oh, wow. And uh, the, the cool thing about that was when they brought me in to do that, they basically had me audition for all the Mortal Kombat characters and all the DC characters. So it was like being a kid in a candy shop for me because I got to do, you know, Batman, Superman, all these different characters. The two characters that really resonated with me when I did it was Joker and Raiden. And uh, at the end of the audition, the casting director said to me, they like you for everything. What do you like? Really? And, and they never ask you that. They don't, they don't care what the actor likes. They, you know, usually the you know, director, producer is the one that cast those characters. But I said I loved doing the Joker. The Joker was phenomenal. To just really hit a chord. And Raiden, I love those two characters. And a couple days later, I booked both those characters. I've been doing them for 12 years now. So, What's great about that is that these are two diametrically opposed yes. characters. Not just in like ethos, but also just in how one would perform them. Right. Uh, do you find, I mean, obviously you love them both. It seems like the Joker would be a very chewy character to be able he to is. play with. Very chewy. Uh, uh, um, how much, like, what are your favorite parts about uh, doing both of those voices? Well, the Joker is evil. <laughs> it's a little Joker for you. Uh, and Raiden is, uh, you know, the. They're, they're like yin and yang, because Raiden is a very honorable and noble character, and I really enjoy playing him a lot. He's, he's, he is kind of like the ultimate father figure, really, when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, really. And, and Joker is just a, a despicable, horrible character. So it's really kind of fun to play those two characters. And I have scenes where I, you know, talk to myself, basically. <laughs> Yeah, I have issues, folks. That, issues. That, that's something really interesting, and I was wondering about that because uh, for, for those that don't know, voice acting is very specific. When you go in, you get your lines, you go into the right. booth, and sometimes it's hours of you being like, Ugh, ah, Ugh, and stuff like that. That's the sound of the men working on the chain game. <laughs> for you, it sounds like, yeah, like an old Johnny Cash <laughs> record, having me in the back doing the John Henry song or something. <laughs> um, but, but it's a very dated reference. Yes, it is. They won't face. get it. They it's okay. You know what? Sometimes you just have to do a joke Most for these yourself. Most people won't know Johnny Cash is. I'm going to so. be okay. Well, they've been to Hot Topic. They've seen the T-shirts. <laughs> um, but that being said, uh, when you would go in for lines for, uh, say, a game with both of them. Yeah. Um, did you, it seems like the Joker would take a bit more out of you. Um, as far as like uh, like of the the energy expelled because of the emphasis on the character and the sort of the, the mania that you have to put through, did you ever like be like, well, I want to do some Raiden and some Joker today, or were they like, no, this is what well, you're going to do? Usually, when they record this stuff, they record one character all the way through, mm -hmm. and then they'll bring you in to do the other character. So, um, you know, and it's kind of nice if you if you're particularly if you're doing a scene with yourself, it's nice to have that baseline where you you have maybe the you know like Raiden. Will be you know talking to the Joker, and then you can bring in the Joker and have him do all that stuff in between. So, or vice versa. It just depends on how they record it, you know. But uh, but generally they they'll do the whole character through, so you're not flip flopping back and forth to do the character, which would be kind of crazy. I mean, it's something that could be done, but it just it makes more sense to do it the other way. When you think about the pantheon of performers that have gotten to be the Joker, yeah. like do do you ever reflect on that? And you're just like, I I can't believe like. 
I can't believe well, the people that I'm 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 next to you in know, this he, world. He is an iconic character. He really is, and I and I'm really uh, quite honored to be be one of those in the pantheon playing him. Uh, you know, when I first started doing the Joker, it was kind of funny because you know Mark Hamill is super famous for doing the Joker. And everyone said, oh, you're trying to sound like Mark Hamill, which to this day, and this is true, I've never heard Mark's Joker. Really? But And I and I put that on Facebook, and Mark Hamill, being the gentleman that he is, he came on and said, well, I've heard yours, and it's wonderful. So I thought, wow, what a, what a great guy. You know? yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but, you know, honestly, it, it boils down to I'm an actor, and I'm not going to play another actor playing a character. I'm going to play the character. So I, I, always, uh, I always approach a character as a character. Now, you know, as, as actors, we are influenced by other, other performances and things like that, but uh, a lot of times when I do a particular character that's, that's a popular character like that, I, I, I specifically do not want to hear somebody else's take on it. Of course, it. yeah. I just want to approach it organically myself. Well, yeah, you would. I don't think derivative would ever be anything that a true performer would want to be described right, exactly. as. Exactly. Yeah, I, I and or, that's or an great. impersonation, or of course. You know, I mean, but but then so so you go in and you focus on you're doing it your way. Yes. Then you get to take a look back and be like Hamill and DiMaggio and all these different incredible actors and people that I'm sure that you have worked with in the past or that you you might know from this world. And you'd be like, and I'm here, and there I am. There, there that's me. I'm right there. I'm I'm the Joker. <laughs> I'm one of those guys, and and that's gotta be that has to be such a, a very unique feeling to have, yeah. Uh, and that is really rad too. And then to do like Raiden as well, and to have that, you be like, and, and also I'm I'm the the sworn protector of Earthrealm. Yes. You know? Well, you know it's funny. Uh, people, when I first started doing the Joker, first of all, they a lot of people were used to me doing like Bato and Ghost in the Shell and that sort of voice, and they were thinking, well, how's that gonna work? You know, how is that uh, how's that gonna sound like the Joker? But I completely became a different character. I don't sound anything like. So Bob you're though. an actor. I am an actor. It's wild. But, but there's a lot of voice actors who are pretty much the same voice in all of their characters, and that's fine too. Listen, there's a lot of great film actors, you know, like John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, those kind of guys that are basically themselves in every character they portray, and and that's not to take anything away from them. They're wonderful actors, but there's also. For me, it's more fun to just become those characters and just to really to totally, yeah, yeah, just jump in and become those characters. And and in many ways, I'm also a film actor. I also act on film and I've done theater and all that sort of thing. But uh, it, the thing I love about voice acting is you can become any character you can imagine vocally. I love it. Whereas yeah. on 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 screen, you're you're pretty much relegated to yeah, the way you, you have appear. to match body and appear yeah, the way you like look. That. Uh, I don't know. I only have you for a couple more minutes, so I did want to ask you too, because like uh, right now you said uh, Lupin, Lupin uh, the Third. Yes, uh, we're doing tons of Lupin. I uh, about uh, almost uh, about 20 years ago, I directed this delightful series called Lupin the Third. It was the Red Jacket series, and I put together this cast. Well, this cast has become the definitive Lupin cast, and I play Jigen in it, and I also direct a lot of the shows. We just. Uh, uh, finished, uh, my wife and I, Ellen Stern, who's also uh, co-directed a, a few of these series with me, uh, we just did the, the absolute first Lupin series, which is going to come out next year. We're, I'm working on uh, part six right now, which just came out. A movie just came out that was released in the yeah. theaters, Lupin the Third, the First, which I wrote the screenplay for and play wow. Jigen in. So uh, I'm involved with that a lot. The Lupin Jeez, are you? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> wow, God, that's that is such, that's such an impressive thing to to have on there. That it, you know, when you were like, "Yeah, we're doing Lupin stuff," I was like, "Oh, voice acting." You're like, "No, literally all." Like, I'm a surprised lot, you're yeah, not directing, animating right, it at the same yeah. time. That'll be next. I'll uh, be drawing. Well, I'm so excited to take a look at it. Love the character. Love the series. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's really and, fun. and definitely, uh, so check it out. Uh, Richard Epcar, uh, folks, definitely check him out. Follow him on social media. Yes. Uh, you Instagram. Can see all, follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow him on Instagram. What's your at on Instagram? Richard Epcar on Instagram. That's Very so easy. easy. Oh my God. That's so. That was what I was going to have as an Instagram at. So Richard I'm glad Epcar, you got. Yeah. It was taken. That, yeah. It was taken. So by, you couldn't do it. Yeah. So now I'm Richard Epcar the third, the well, first. Okay. I like that. Uh, thank you all very much. <laughs> Richard Epcar, everybody. I'm Jeff May. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.